Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Reese here from Manga, and welcome to my review of One Piece Chapter 714, Lucy and Usi. So yeah, this chapter, you know what, it actually wasn't too bad. Finally, um, we got to see what's happening on Sunny, and my god, um, I'm not sure whether like it was a translation or like whether it's just the way this woman speaks, but my god, does she chat a lot of crap. Um, talking about obviously the fat woman who's like on, taken on the sunny, she has some strange, um, weird power and everything. But anyway, um, it may have been kind of hard to follow what the hell she was talking about, but her objective was pretty much clear. Um, her objective is obviously to kidnap Monosuke and also render the sunny pretty much useless so the straw hats can't escape or anything. Um, so yeah, she has a really, really weird ability. Um, I'm not sure if it's a devil fruit ability or whether it's like her ability. I'm guessing it's devil fruit um but yeah some weird kind of like artsy ability so yeah um she basically used it like she changed the crew's look so you have like brooke who kind of looks like the screen painting choppo looks like he's created in minecraft um nami she got kind of lollified so you know she's like now all straight flat weird i'm not sure whether she got turned into like a boyish type thing or something then you have monosuke he looks like he's basically been cut in half and then stuck back together kind of thing it looks really really weird so anyway, yeah, um, yeah. Basically, she uses that ability on the ship now, and then it, you know, got all messed up. So yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah. Like I'm saying, like I was saying before, basically, what's weird about this whole section here is the fact that the straw hats, the remaining straw hats, obviously, they're just running away. And it's just like, why are they running away? The whole point in them being there was to protect the ship, you know. So I know they obviously wanted to draw her fire up from the ship itself, but you know. With like, you know, Chopper could have just gone monster point or something and just like beating the crap, like, you know, just slapped off the damn shit for God's sake. And Brooke, you know, he's supposed to be what, really, really fast and have his ice abilities and everything. So he could probably just like freeze him, kick him off as you, you know what I mean? Nami could use her electricity, take him all out. Because this woman doesn't exactly look that strong. So it just kind of baffled me a bit, like why they didn't just kick her ass and, you know, knock her off the damn shit. If she has a devil fruit ability, she'll just drown. So, yeah, it's a bit kind of like baffling there. That's like why they didn't just do something, you know? Why didn't they fight back? So, anyway, um, other things happened. Bellamy is now in a little bit of a crisis. He's like now been tasked with killing Luffy. But obviously, as we've all seen, he's kind of like growing a bit attached to Luffy. So, you know, he's kind of a bit like he likes him now. So, he's just like, oh, God, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? So, he's kind of like got an ultimatum now. It's like either kill Luffy or pretty much, you know, be killed himself probably because that's like the way... Deconaut's family pretty much works. So yeah, um, you know, from this really, a couple things can really only happen. It's like either he doesn't get his art, he does it, and then, you know, Luffy will just kick his ass again, because, you know, it's Luffy. Um, second thing is he could, like, you know, uh, run away from the Deconaut's family, maybe join Luffy's crew, but that there, it doesn't really seem very, yeah, I don't really think that's gonna happen. But then the final one basically could be, well, because we know they're all basically, you know, trying to take out the Deconauts family and, you know, bring back rule to the people. So maybe once they defeat all the Deconauts family, they, you know, Bellamy could take over or something because, you know, everyone does actually seem to love the guy. Yeah, you can just tell from like um, just his whole response to the crowd at the Coliseum. Everyone loved him. So, yeah, maybe that could happen. You end up taking over to Sora. Who knows? But yeah, on to the final bit of this chapter, which, you know, to me, it's just like, finally, my God, they're showing it. Um, we basically get to see Luffy's Coliseum battle. Well, what's happening with him? Um, his block is kind of weird, you know? So straight off, they introduced, like, this giant guy called, sorry if I get this wrong, Hadrujin, I think that's how you say it. And yeah, this guy is a friggin' monster, you know? He's just going around just crushing people, basically, you know? He's like, what? So I think in the final panel they show him, he's like, say, that, and Luffy's like, that. So yeah, you can kind of like see the big difference between the two. <laughs> so yeah, he's just going around crushing everyone. Um, but yeah, what Luffy's doing is he is riding a bull. Um, yeah, I know it's really weird. This bull is basically like, you know, the angel of death of the Colosseum kind of thing. So that's kind of weird. The fact that there's an animal running around going on like, yeah, that is a contestant and everything. You know, what are they going to do if it, if it won? Give it a devil fruit? So have a fireball? Strange. So anyway, yeah, basically Luffy's riding around in the ball, basically just like shoving horns up people's asses and everything, knocking them out. Until basically he runs into um, Haj, that's what I'm calling him from now on. And it's just like, he's just like, what the hell, are you trying to challenge me, boy? He tries to, goes down, crushes 
Luffy and the ball were, you know, Luffy's obviously fine because he's made of rubber, you know, not many impacts can really hurt him too much unless it's kind of like got hacky with it. Um, but the ball is pretty much down out for the count. So Q pissed off Luffy, jumps up. I'm not sure whether it was a gear two, but either way, he did a um, gumma gummy pistol straight into the giant's face, knocking him the F out. And, you know, everyone just like, what the hell? You know, literally just like, oh my God. The old, obviously they think he's an old man so it's like that old man just knocked out that giant what the heck is going on so yeah that basically then ended the chapter there with Luffy knocking the crap out of the giant so yeah like I said really decent chapter this week you know um, I'm just a little bit annoyed at the fact that you know the protector ship crew couldn't actually do anything you know so I thought they would at least put up a bit of a better fight it's like I know they want to kind of like draw away from the ship and everything but still they could have just knocked her off the ship really really quickly you know the whole point they've been training for like these two years but you know these guys they should be powerful enough like look what they did at fish look what they did to the fishermen they just took them out like they were nothing you know and this woman i know we haven't really seen her combat ability or nothing but still she shouldn't be that powerful because like come on all the fishermen there they were like jacked up on steroids and stuff so i would expect their power to be a little bit more than this woman you know uh but yeah they could have just not throw overboard devil fruit user drown done but anyway, um, like I said, Luffy, he is a funny guy, you know. Um, it's like I'm wondering that, obviously, if after this little hit here, people kind of like start figuring out who he actually is. Like maybe once he drops down, his beard's falling off or something. Then it's like, oh my god, the straw hat Luffy. So yeah, I'm kind of like wondering what their reaction is going to be once they actually figure him out because like they seem to be kind of like loving him at the moment. So like people are starting to warm to him and everything. So I'm wondering if that will kind of like change in an instant once they figure him out or. Whether they'll just go on like, oh my god, that's Straw Hat Luffy, yeah, let's do this thing, wow. So yeah, um, I guess we'll kind of find out next week on the next chapter. So yeah, kind of looking forward to it now. So if I was to drop a rating on this, um, you know, I'm going to go over 8 out of 10 because like I said, it was enjoyable. But at the same time, it was a bit frustrating with the whole crew protects um, the crew, you know, the rest of the crew protecting the ship. So yeah, I think 8's alright. Um, but yeah, guys. There you have it. That's what I thought of chapter 714. I'm giving it 8 out of 10. But what do you guys think? You know, let me know in the comments below. Um, as usual, if you enjoyed the video, give it a little thumbs up. It really helps the series. And check out the channel for the rest of our content. So, um, see you soon.